Good morning, my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the Introvert, and today is Tuesday, January the 18th, 2022. And I'm here to give you another update. And what a tale I have to tell you this morning, my friends. Oh my goodness, you would not believe what's been happening here in the last 24 hours. Oh my goodness. Yes, we've had quite the adventure, let me tell you. So, because of the weather around here, I went and did a very large grocery shopping haul. Yes, just to be prepared for this week. It's, been, it's supposed to be a very messy week this week, weather-wise. And when the time came around that Gerald had to be picked up from work, Josh and I got into the car and we drove down to get Gerald. And it was pouring rain. It was just pouring, pouring rain. And there was so much water on the roads. I had to be very careful. And I drove slowly and carefully as I got to Gerald's workplace. Now, as soon as we got home, I heard a ding from my phone. I keep my phone in my purse when I'm out and about. So I heard a ding from my phone and I pulled out my phone and on it was a message from my neighbor. And my, day, my neighbor had said that the wind blew our shed over. And what a shock it was because we have tires in the shed. So you would have thought that the weight, the heaviness from the, the tires alone would have kept the, the shed put. Here's our wonderful shed. You can see it has broken apart there. And this over here, this is the roof. And the door to the shed is, is down there on that side. This is the bottom here of the shed, the floor. And it was standing on that. This up here at the top is actually the back of the shed. And this here is where the tires were all. They were all in the back here. So it took a mighty strong, ridiculously strong gust of wind to topple this over. I'll show you the other side. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything pulled apart here. And there's the window. It doesn't look broken. And again, the doors, the front doors are on right on that side against the, the ground pulled apart here. Walking back around here, we have some bags in there with money back bottles, like water bottles, juice bottles in there. Let's see if I can take a little look. And yes, we have bicycles in there as well. The lawnmower is in there. I hope it's not broken. This is going to take us about approximately, we're guessing, about five hours to take this apart, take everything out. We'll have to put everything down here, of course. Everything that's inside the shed we'll put here. And then we'll have to push the shed back onto the base over here. Joshua wants to help us, so that will be great, because we can definitely use the help, I'm sure. You can see this is pulled apart. It's going to be a big job. So it's going to take us about five hours. It's a five hour project to get this back up on its feet, back up on the base. And we want to do it, obviously, in daylight, probably this weekend, 
because by the time Gerald gets home from work within like an hour or two when he gets home from work it gets really dark so to do it after work really isn't an option we have to do it on a day when he's home from not working so that's our shed my friends <laughs> oh my goodness yes we have a big job ahead of us we're gonna have to designate a day a reserve a day just to work on this and it's raining again the wind has died down and it's raining again anyways just another project for us to do another unexpected project I'm back in the house my friends and what do you think of that? <laughs> oh my. The things that happen to us. The things that happen to us. Oh my. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. <laughs> now I have another tale to tell you. Are you ready? Put your seatbelts on. <laughs> I have another tale to tell you. And it's about our car. Yes, yes. We're having some trouble with our car. <laughs> oh my. Um, going back to Monday, yesterday, remember how I mentioned to you how it was pouring, pouring rain and there was so much water on the road and I had to be very careful driving. So going back to the story where Josh and I went and picked Gerald up from work. Well, Gerald was in the passenger seat and I was driving and I did, of course, wasn't driving fast. And it was very rainy, so even still, I was driving very carefully and cautiously with all the ro the water on the road and everything. Once I came up to the curve, I slowed the car down to turn. Well, my, I was turning the steering wheel, but the car was going straight. I didn't hit anything. Nobody got hurt. I wasn't going fast, but I put the brakes on, obviously. But as soon as the car came to a stop, all of a sudden on our dashboard screen, all of these malfunctions started coming up onto our dashboard screen. This was wrong and this was, that was going wrong and this was going wrong and that was going wrong. So what we did is we just switched spots. Gerald took over, he got into the driver's seat. I got into the passenger seat because he's more comfortable with the car when it's acting up and this was just one of those times oh my so gerald drove us home and all was well so far and we parked the car in the driveway and this morning bright and early when gerald went to go to work guess what the car would not start the light comes on the light comes on inside the car so we're figuring the battery is okay but obviously, from all the rain and the water, something must have got wet inside. The car wouldn't start, and Gerald had to get to work. So what to do, what to do? We gave Stacy a quick call, and Gerald and I went to Stacy's and borrowed her car. She was nice enough. She let us borrow her car, and I was able to drive Gerald to work. So now in my driveway, I have two cars our car and Stacy's car and speaking of Stacy just gonna take a quick look at the clock it's almost 10 and I have to drive Stacy to work <laughs> yes I have to drive her to work so I'm gonna have to leave here shortly my friends and I'll catch you on the flip side what's the temperature outside currently in Yarmouth it's zero degrees Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus seven. Well, here we are. We're in Stacy's car, just about to head out to her place. And of course, it's still raining, but the wind is also picking up. So I hope it's not as bad as it was yesterday. I'll still have to keep an eye on that shed, of course. But anyhow, well, my friends, I've got to get going because Stacy's got to head to work. So another busy day ahead of me <laughs> and there's Josh beside me right there hi <laughs> Josh is here to keep me company so that's great so away we go my friends time to get this show on the road
getting really windy out there again. Yep. Look <laughs> at my hair. Oh, the wind is really picking up. I'm in our car right now, and Josh is here beside me. Hi. <laughs> what I thought we would do is um, see if I can start the car. Just want to see if the car will start, and then I can message Gerald to let him know. And that way, when he gets home from work, he'll take over from there as well. <laughs> success as you can see so now I'm just gonna head into the house get warmed up the temperatures here have dropped so it went from raining to snowing and the wind is picking up even more and I'm glad that I was able to just try out the car one more time and I don't want Joshua to get too cold out here it's getting chilly eh Josh yeah yeah so we're gonna head in my friends so I'll see you inside Well, it's about that time of the day, my friends. It is time for Joshua and I to go pick Gerald up from work. This day has gone by really, really fast, I find. Joshua's just in the porch area right now getting his winter boots and his hat and his winter coat on. And then we're going to head out the door and pick up Gerald. So, looks like Joshua's ready to go. So we're on our way again. It's still pretty windy out. It's not caught in the door. All right, here we go. While we're sitting here waiting for Gerald, I just had an idea. Um, Josh, will show everybody what's in the red bag. <laughs> There's a, we brought a red bag with us. See that? It's the hair dryer, obviously, right? <laughs> and you're all probably wondering, what on earth are you doing with a hair dryer? Well, let me tell you, I do have a good reason why I have a hair dryer. And that is, it's been getting so cold lately here in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, that when people go home, um, when they go out and then they go back home, the locks on their house doors have been frozen and they haven't been able to get in the house. That includes me. <laughs> I got stuck. I got stuck there for a few minutes, but I have the hair dryer <laughs> right there. So I've been keeping that with me. And also some people have been actually been getting locked in their house because it's been so cold that they just can't unlock the door. The locks just freeze. So it's been quite a dilemma this past few days, let me tell you, with the weather the way it's been. Yes, can you imagine? Can you imagine that? It being so cold that the locks on your house freeze and those who are in the house can't get out and those who are out of the house can't get in. But what we do with the hair dryer, and that is we have a plug just outside our door and you just blow, uh, turn the hair dryer on and blow it on the lock and that unfreezes the lock so we're able to get back in the house again and it also works too if you're inside the house and you can't get out of your house because the lock is frozen so anyway just another little tip my friends <laughs> if you if you get stuck sometime take out your hair dryer and that'll do the trick every time oh there he is <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
We're at home now, quite obviously, and Gerald is going to see if the booster cables will help get our car started. Fingers crossed, my friends. Gerald was able to get our car started, so thumbs up to that. He's going to take it for a little drive around the block just to see, just to see how it goes. And so far so good, my friends. <laughs> so far so good. Well, my friends, Gerald just got back with the car and he said that it ran really, really well. So that's good news. And Stacy had let us know that if we have trouble with the car tomorrow morning just to give her a call so that's a really big help and it's very nice of her we sure appreciate stacy's help and speaking of stacy she had messaged me and i'm actually heading out the door right now to go pick her up from work and then she's gonna bring me home and drop me off then it's supper time for us hmm let me see maybe mcdonald's is on the menu tonight <laughs> Sounds good, I think. It's been such a busy, busy day. And my friends, I want to thank you for joining me today. And thank you for sharing with me the experience and being a listening ear as I talk to you about the shed. And we'll be getting right to that as soon as we can. We need quite a bit of daylight to, to get that done, to dismantle it, to take everything out of the shed, and then to put everything back, like put the shed back together in proper order and hopefully hopefully it's not wrecked in some spots we're hoping that's for sure but thank you for your company my friends it's always a pleasure having you around and it's been a chilly day but it's always warmer having friends like yourself now if you like this vlog please give me the youtube thumbs up or press that subscribe button and i have more vlogs to come so stay tuned and i'll talk to you all soon talk to you soon my friends Bye.